Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jess and today's vlog is going to be kind of a little bit of everything. It's just going to be my normal chit chat cheat keto vlog and also a what I eat. I will show you everything I'm eating today. Plus I'm going to give a two month update on keto, let you know my feelings, my thoughts, my results, where I'm going here on out all of that good stuff. So please give this video a, video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. It really helps out my channel. Subscribe if you have not already done so and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload videos. So let's get into the video. Good morning guys. So I am starting my morning off with a cup of coffee. This is just the Starbucks fall blend. I put in a scoop of the Perfect Keto Salted Caramel MCT Oil Powder. As soon as I use this up, I'm going to try a different flavor. The Salted Caramel though, you guys, is amazing. I do have a link for Perfect Keto down below in the description box. I think I'm going to try the vanilla next because I already have their chocolate base. So I don't want to get chocolate, but really good. I also put in two tablespoons of this almond breeze almond milk creamer so i'm gonna enjoy that while i finish getting ready for work okay guys i am getting ready to head out for work so i am packing up my lunch i'm not hungry this morning so i'm not going to eat breakfast i'm just finishing up my coffee here um so what i have i meal prep these that meal prep video went up this morning i will have it linked above up here in the cars and then also down in the description box so these are kind of like what I call Italian sub roll-ups. They are super, super good. So I have two of those, plus a tablespoon of the creamy Italian dressing. And then since I wasn't hungry this morning, I thought I, I was just gonna have this for lunch, but I thought I would go ahead and just make a salad to go along with it, just in case I get hungry since I'm not eating breakfast. So I just have about a cup and a half of spring mix. I have just a tiny bit of the shredded Parmesan and Romano cheese. I have one slice of bacon and I have a quarter of an avocado. And then I have more of that creamy Italian dressing to go on that. So that'll be my lunch. And then I am bringing a um, bang. <clears throat> and then also I have my iced coffee to drink on my way to work. This is the Bones strawberry cheesecake. I have one more flavor of these to try, which I will probably try tonight. And then I will let you guys know tomorrow of the five flavors I got in that sample pack. Um, I'll let you know what I think about them and which ones are my favorite and if I didn't like any and that kind of thing. So I will talk about that. Um, but this smells amazing just so you know. This one when it was brewing it smelled so good. I brewed it last night and then just put it in the refrigerator so it would be nice and cold. So that's everything. I will talk to you guys when I get in the car. Hi guys. I think I have a few minutes to talk to you. Let me see. Oh yes I do. So First, I wanna try my coffee. So this is that strawberry cheesecake from Bones. I have not tried this flavor yet. What I've been doing is trying one of each of the flavors in between finishing up my fall blend from Starbucks because you guys, you guys know I'm obsessed with that. I'm gonna lock my door. I'm like sitting here in my driveway and who knows what kind of crazies are walking around. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. I will do a full like talk about all of the coffees tomorrow um in tomorrow's vlog it just gives me something to chit chat about <laughs> thing but i want to try them all first to let you know this one's good wow you know it's always hit and miss with me with flavored coffees i you know so sometimes when they're just like not good at all i've had really good luck with ones that i have found like at marshall's just randomly like they'll have some kind of coffee and I'll, i have really good luck with those but the ones that like i don't have a good luck don't have a good luck <laughs> <laughs> grammar ones that don't have good luck with are like those grind your own ones and I don't know why like we have a whole like bunch of those in a few of my stores and every time I get one of those it just does not taste very good um there was one that I really liked and it was a toasted coconut and that's the only one I would probably buy again because I really love like coconut coffee but mm -hmm. 
This one I can already give you a little preview. I think this is going to be a top runner for one of my favorites. Who would think? Strawberry cheesecake, you guys. Coffee. Who would think? It's it's just so good. And the only thing in this, I didn't put any sweetener in it or, or any, sweetener in it or anything. I don't know what's going on today. It's Monday. My words will not form in my mouth. Um and I just put two tablespoons of heavy cream. And that's it. That is it. Um, this weekend. I I didn't go like off keto or anything like that, but I also didn't track. So I am putting myself on very strict keto this next week. Um, strict keto for me, it may mean different for some people. It mean different for other people. For me, it means just buckling down, weighing, measuring, tracking. That's, that's the only way I feel like I'm in like control. But I do feel very proud of myself though. Saying that though, it's just for me it's easiest through the week when I'm at work because there's too many too much temptation that can happen at work and you get a little bit of stress and then you want something and that kind of thing. So I just keep it very strict at work. But I actually am very proud of myself. I have to tell you guys that even being on keto, I know a lot of people say like their cravings completely go away and maybe mine will eventually, but right now, every once in a while, I still have a craving. Now, it could just be because it's that time of the month because I feel like that most of this last month, I really didn't have a lot of cravings, And um, but this weekend, it was like I had to go to the store on Sunday. Um, I dropped my son off at work and I just ran into Dollar General to get a couple of things I forgot to get grocery shopping and I like had this insane like craving for peanut M&Ms and I love peanut, peanut M&Ms that's like my candy one of my candies to choice that and I like, really like Twix bars too um, but I just really wanted peanut M&Ms or like trail mix with candy in it you know that kind of thing like I was craving those kind of things and I thought you know what I, I was so tempted just to say, you know what, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to make that decision to get it. But then I thought, no, I'm just giving into my craving. I'm not making like a real conscious decision to decide to go off plan. And so when I got home, I took just, I just took a few like pecans, a few almonds, a few, um, what's that other thing? Walnuts. And then I took some of the Lily's milk chocolate chips and I just made myself a trail mix and I ate it and I was fine. Like it totally satisfied that. So you can make keto versions of, you know, some of your favorite foods. And I'm actually, I was sitting down um, this weekend also and kind of trying to come up with some video ideas. And that's one of the things that I'm thinking of is just talking about for myself. I mean, I think it's going to be different for everybody because everybody's kind of cravings are different. But I want to talk about after I've been on keto for a little bit, um, how I do things like that. Like, what have I substituted? What have I, you know, if I want something like what have I eaten instead of that to kind of make myself make this be sustainable for me? I guess that's the words that I'm trying to form. Um, just make this a sustainable lifestyle. What am I doing? So that right there was a perfect example. And I can easily make up myself some little trail mixes doing exactly that. Um, now nuts, of course, you have to be really careful with because they, you know, they can be higher in carbs, but, and also higher in fat. So definitely want to portion them out. Um, I think I'm going to get some of those like little snack bags, like those tall skinny ones. I can never find those, but I'm going to see if I can find some and then make myself up some little trail mixes. And I, cause I do crave that kind of stuff because I used to eat that kind of stuff all the time. And it's, you know, you always think you need this big like amount, but I just had a little bit and it was enough to satisfy, satisfy me. And I was just very happy with those. Um, it's really funny. I mentioned those Lily's chocolate chips and you guys, no joke. Like I went and got those on a Wednesday at my grocery store. And when I went, no, on a Thursday, when I went grocery shopping on Saturday, they were sold out and there were so many of them when I went that day. This is why I need to build up my stock before the holidays because I know they will be gone. So I'm going to make like a weekly trip to that grocery store midweek because I think by the weekend they'll be gone, but I'm going to go midweek and pick them up. Now they had quite a few of the semi-sweet. I haven't tried the semi-sweet yet, but I think that I'll probably like them just as well. But the milk chocolate are really good. Um, but I think that I want to stock up on both because I really want to do a lot of keto holiday baking, um, just to try things out and do some recipes for you and recreate again, some of my favorite holiday recipes. I want to recreate keto style. So I'm working on a lot of that stuff right now. 
And I may need some of those things to kind of do some practice, you know, some testing and stuff. So, um, but anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and head on to work. And then at lunchtime, I will pop on here and give you a whole like two month update on keto. Let you guys know what my results are and my feelings and go from there. So I will talk to you guys in a few hours for you. It'll just be just like that. Hey guys. So it's lunchtime. I'm at Safeway. I feel like half of my vlogs I'm at Safeway parking lot doing them. Oh, I try to get at an angle where I don't have to squint through my whole video. I'm drinking my bang. I already drank, I already drank. I already ate my lunch about 11. I knew I had to go to the store and I didn't know what my afternoon was gonna bring. So I thought I'll just go and eat. I was actually kind of hungry. I ate my salad first and then I um, really wanted my roll ups. So I ate those next and they were fantastic. So I am very satisfied at this point. Um, I did not bring anything else today. I don't think I should need anything else. Uh, water is going really well. I knew I was dehydrated because I woke up this morning super thirsty. I okay, so let's talk about my two months on keto. So I started July 8th, so yesterday was my two months. I have lost 14.4 pounds, which I am excited about. I, Like I said, I have always say, even though I do it, you guys catch me on it all the time when I say don't compare yourself to others and then I do it to myself, but we don't want to do that, you guys, because yes, are there people that lose on keto super, super fast? Yes, there are, but if you know that you're one of those people that just loses slow like myself, I always lose really slow, and sure, there's probably things I could do to make myself lose faster, but I really want to make this lifestyle a sustainable lifestyle for me, and by doing that is just by doing, you know, just living it, doing it the way that I want to do it, and living my life without having to, you know, do this and do that to make the weight come off. I like to, I am trying to try to set myself some goals. I don't like to put number goals, you guys know that, but I've kind of done it just to see where I could be by the time my birthday comes along. Because last year around my birthday, I had hit my lowest and I would like to hit that again. And that's 11 pounds from now. So if I could lose 11 pounds by October 15th, that'd be fantastic. If I don't, it's not a big deal. I'm not going to be, you know, upset or anything or disappointed in myself. It's just the way my body is. But I am loving keto. I really see this for myself as a sustainable lifestyle. I am still getting, for the most part, the negative comments have gone away. Um, I would say like the majority of the negative comments have gone away since I switched over from Weight Watchers to keto. I am getting a ton of positive comments from you guys who have just been around since the beginning or ones that kind of found me towards the end, but they've just stuck around. And I hope that my channel can still inspire you no matter what program you're doing. It's just right now I happen to be showing, you know, keto type foods. And I feel like I've always shown you guys though, no, no matter what plan you're doing, you really can take, you know, the things that I'm showing, the meal preps that I'm doing, you know, the grocery house, you can take that stuff and you can make it into whatever program you want. Any recipe can be modified. And that's what I used to do with Weight Watchers and that's what I'm doing with keto right now. I'm just modifying it to fit my lifestyle. And I, you know, I do still get these comments every once in a while that say, you know, oh, I see you're still doing the keto thing. I'll come back when you, when you see that it's not going to work for you, or I'll come back when you, when you finally realize that it's not sustainable, or I'll come back just to see you fall on your face. I mean, I get these comments, you know, and it's not like it. I mean, now I just kind of laugh them off. It's not like, you know, something that's going to um, hurt me anymore. And I just comment back saying, you know what, this is a sustainable lifestyle for me. I can see that it is, this is what I'm doing and I'm happy and I wish you the best. I just kind of, you know, just play it off like that. Um, you know, I get people who, um, who are asking me, I've gotten a lot of DMS on Instagram, especially. Um, but I think I got a couple comments on YouTube asking me if I am going to consider looking into whatever new program Weight Watchers has because there's a lot of stuff out there right now with the new plan for Weight Watchers. We know that they like to change things every year, couple years. Um, I know when I started Weight Watchers in 2016, it was just changed over to Smart Points and then the next year they rolled out, you know, Freestyle. Was that in 17 or 18 they rolled out Freestyle? I don't remember. I think it was 17. So, 
you know, they, I know there's been all this stuff flying. Like there always is whenever they say there's going to make changes, there's all these rumors flying and I don't know. I've heard so many things, but I've not heard anything from people that are within like the Weight Watcher coaches, whatever they call them now. I have not heard anything from any of them or ambassadors or anything. I'm just hearing the same rumors everybody else is hearing out there. Um, you know, which is just like a lot of like, you know, like I said, it's a lot of speculation. A lot of the speculation seems to be like you'll be able to pick your own program. A lot of people say it may be going to be lower carb stuff. Am I going to look at that? I'll look and see what it is, but I'm not going to change back. And here's the reason why it's not against Weight Watchers, the program itself, because I do credit Weight Watchers quite a bit for helping, helping me with the tracking, helping me with portion control and, you know, things like that. It has really helped me so much with keto, the transition to keto especially the portion control, because you do have to watch your portions, you know, and it's, you also have to do your tracking and you have to watch your labels and all of that stuff is really, you know, I really have to credit Weight Watchers to a lot of that stuff. Um, however, I do not want to pay anything anymore. I don't want to have to pay a program to tell me how to eat. And so even if you can, you know, even if the new program is available on like iTrack Bites, where you, you know, can just either get it free or you can pay the small amount that I've tracked bites costs, you know, and not have to pay the monthly fee for Weight Watchers. I just, I, I just, I'm at the point now where I don't want to have to pay for anything and I don't feel like you should have to and, or at least I should have to. I personally do not want to pay for it. You know, yes, it's only $20, which I've heard that the online is going to be going up. So um, to like 22 or something, but I don't even know if that's true or not. So don't, don't quote me on that 22 or 25. I think it was, but I am definitely not going to pay 25 up to $25 a month just to have an app at my disposal. I'm just not going to do that. And, um, so, but here's the thing though, keto makes me feel good. So even though, you know, I'm going to have people tell me, well, what's the difference? You know, you, you're going to be, what if you just only start losing the same amount you're losing on Weight Watchers, you know, like just losing just a few pounds a month. That's fine. Cause on Weight Watchers, I would lose a few pounds a month and then I would gain like six and then, you know, just back and forth. But here's the thing. Here's the bottom line of the entire program for me as far as, or the lifestyle, I should say for me is that I feel better on keto. I really do. I guess I believe Weight Watchers could be a lifestyle. I think it is a lifestyle. I've known people who live it. I have no problem calling it a lifestyle. I think it's more of a lifestyle than a diet, but I don't even get into the diet word because the whole diet word is like, it has such a bad rep and it's, I don't even want to go there, <laughs> but anyway, um, Weight Watchers is a lifestyle. Keto is a lifestyle. People say it's not a lifestyle, but it is. People live it. People have lived it for years. And I just feel better on that than I did on Weight Watchers. So that's the main reason why I won't go back to Weight Watchers because obviously the way I'm eating now, my body feels better. I feel better. You guys all tell me that, you know, you can tell by my moods are better. Now that's not because I'm losing weight or because um, I'm just in a better mood. It's because for some reason I feel better, you know, like my body feels physically better, which makes me in a better mood. You, when you don't feel physically well, then your moods are not going to be good. You know, you're not going to feel good when you're, when you're not feeling good, you're not going to be in a good mood. That is not, I'm not forming my words very well when it comes to that, but I think you guys know what I mean. So Yes, I'm in a better mood. You guys all say like my skin is glowing and that um, just you guys can just tell. You say that I just look healthier and th that's how I feel. I feel healthier. I feel like, you know, it's like my body physically feels better. Like my, I just, I don't go to bed in pain anymore between my shoulders and my knees. Every once in a while, my shoulder will act up, but I've had this injury on my shoulder since I was... I think beginning of high school. So, you know, it's something that's been there for a long time. So every once in a while, yes, it'll ache when it rains. <laughs> I think that's more, you know, I think that's just one of those things, but I do not go to bed every night. I don't go to bed in pain. My knees feel so much better. It's just so weird. Like I physically just feel like a different person. And to me, that means so much more than losing the weight. I, I just, that's, that's what's important to me right now because obviously I'm eating the foods that make my 
my body feel better. Now I did um, tell my doctor he wants me to do a test, another like, cause my thyroid test came back. Um, my numbers are better than they've been ever been before. My thyroid symptoms that I used to have even while on medication up to just back in May and June, I was still having, you know, just a lot of symptoms, moodiness, really, you know, terrible periods. They were regular, but they were just terrible periods. They, um, moody, no, I already said moodiness. Oh, cold, freezing cold all the time. I would have the heart palpitations, things like that. Those are gone. Like they are absolutely gone. And is it keto? I don't know. Is it just the different foods I'm eating? Could be. I don't know. But all I know is it's working and that's how I'm feeling. And so that's what I'm going with right now. Um, I don't, like I said, no, I don't plan on changing. I don't plan on um, doing anything different. I'm happy where I'm at. So I will continue to give you guys updates on my keto journey because I know a lot of people are just curious about it. Um, I really didn't have any cons this week. I mean, this month, um, it, I didn't have any, I don't, have not had any like bad reactions or anything. I haven't, I really don't have anything negative to say about it. Um, I'm figuring out how to, like I was talking about this morning with the trail mix, I'm figuring out how to make things to where I feel like I'm not missing out. And I think the holidays are going to be a huge, huge thing for me to just, you know, figure out. I'm not actually not even looking at it as a negative. I'm looking at it as a huge positive because I'm excited about the holidays because I really can see so many things I can do with it for keto and I can see it as something I'm not going to miss out on. Um, I just, I don't know. I'm just really excited about the holidays and I feel like I can get through the holidays and make it feel like I'm not missing out on something. Then it's going to be a huge win and this definitely will be just my lifestyle. We'll just, you know, that's what I, I really feel like that's what it's going to be. So anyway, there is my little two month update. I'm feeling great, feeling fantastic, ready to go for another month. Um, let me know down below you guys. Um, if for those of you who just started keto, I know there's a lot of you are just starting. How is it going for you? You know, let me know if you guys need any advice on anything. If I can't get the answer, I can get it for you from all of my friends that I have, you know, been talking to have been helping me through this whole transition. I can see what I can find out for you guys. And I know they'll, they'll probably be reading the comments too, cause they're around. Um, so just let me know if you guys need any help with anything. So this video is going to be kind of long, so I better go. Um, dinner tonight is just like the real thing lasagna. So I will show you guys that, um, right here. I'll probably have a little salad on the side with that. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.